Hi there, it's Mr. Jonathan with the Hart Memorial Library, and today we're doing bite-sized history. We're going to be talking about Fabergé eggs. A Fabergé egg is a jeweled egg created by Peter Carl Fabergé. They were made for the Russian Tsars Alexander III and Nicholas II, who gave them as Easter gifts to their wives and mothers. The first Fabergé egg, the hen egg, was given to Empress Maria Theodorovna, who is pictured on the right. It was a gift given in 1885. It had a white enamel shell that opened to reveal a gold yolk. Inside was a gold hen that opened to reveal a miniature crown with a ruby pendant. The crown and pendant have since been lost. Maria was so delighted by the gift that Alexander had an egg made for his wife every Easter. After his death, his son Nicholas II continued the tradition, giving an egg to his mother Maria and an egg to his wife Alexandra every year on Easter. Pictured here is Nicholas II with his wife Alexandra. Fabergé was given complete freedom of design of the eggs, and they became more elaborate over the years. They often incorporated precious metals like gold or silver, valuable stones like rubies and diamonds, and each contained a surprise. Some of the surprises were miniature portraits or automatons, which were small robots that worked with wind-up keys, enamel flowers, gilded carriages, and even a silver swan that swam on a lake of aquamarine. Here's an example of one of the Fabergé eggs. When this one was opened, inside was an elephant automaton. Inside this egg was a miniature portrait encrusted with diamonds. And inside this egg were miniature portraits of palaces in Denmark. This egg came with an enamel rosebud, and inside that flower was a ruby, which has since been lost. The tradition continued until the Russian Revolution in 1917. Severe military losses during World War I made Nicholas II very unpopular. He was seen as an incompetent leader whose decisions led to the death of millions of his subjects, and he and his family were executed. Only Maria Fyodorovna survived the revolution, fleeing to England. Pictured here on the left is Tsar Nicholas II and his family, who were executed during the Russian Revolution. The youngest girl in this picture is actually Princess Anastasia. On the right is the Dowager Empress Maria. She survived 10 more years after the Russian, Russian Revolution by fleeing to England. In total, Fabergé created 50 imperial eggs for the Tsars. Some have been lost since the revolution, but others are on display in museums all over the world. And now you're going to have the chance to make one of your own. Hi, it's Mr. Jonathan, and I'm here with my helper. What's your name? Henry. Henry. And we are gonna make our own Fabergé egg. All you need is a real egg, a grown-up, you're gonna need a safety pin, and this is why we have a grown up. Uh, a bamboo stick with a pointy end will be helpful. Uh, some scissors, and then things like ribbon, glitter, glue, paint, maybe some jingle bells. He's gone crazy. <laughs> and then paintbrush. Uh, and then you will also need paper towel rolls, okay? So... You've gone a lot of crazy. I've gone a lot of crazy. So we've got our egg and we've got our needle and we're gonna need a bowl for this too, you ready? So very carefully, the grown up is gonna take a safety pin and poke a hole right in the top of our egg. Here we go. And I'm stabbing into the membrane of the egg because inside here is the egg yolk inside of the membrane and we want to kind of mix it up. All right, and now I flip it over and I'm going to do that again. <laughs> Can you make that sound? <laughs> All right, and then we take our bamboo stick because our bamboo stick is gonna help us make the hole a little bit bigger, okay, which is helpful, but I don't wanna crack the egg 
You'll see I cracked it a little bit, my bad, but it's okay. As long as I'm gentle, it won't mess it up. Here we go. Ready? Okay, this is for the grown-up part. It takes a lot of wind. Okay, ready? Watch my face, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> so I'm blowing really hard and what's coming out? The egg yolk, ew. Okay, your turn. Oh, no. No? <laughs> okay, okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. My turn. Hey, okay. My turn. <gasps> I'm all lightheaded. I think that was it. Ew! So we have our egg yolk. I don't really have any shell in here, so if I wanted, I could probably go pop this in the frying pan and make dinner. You want eggs for dinner, right? Darn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse this out. So we'll take it to the sink, we'll rinse it out, and then we will paint it, we will decorate it. We can use glue to add things like glitter, or maybe if we have any little gems, or uh, we can, uh, when we're done, add Mod Podge if we wanna keep it as a keepsake for a very long time. And then we take our paper towel tube. I wanna do, I wanna do that too. Oh, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna take our paper towel tube and we're gonna make a little stand for it. So I'll show you the example that I made. <gasps> my own little Fabergé egg. So I have my stand and I used some ribbon and I used some paint and I used some jingle bells on top with some glue. And this is my own little Fabergé egg. So if you know any czars or empresses out there, tell them to hire me. This is Mr. Jonathan. I hope you guys have fun making your own Fabergé eggs. Say bye, Henry. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye.